Hello learners, welcome to Grade 8 Integrated Science. My name is Marjorie Chimba. In our lesson today, we are going to talk about a microscope. By the end of this lesson, I expect you to, one, define a microscope, two, identify the parts of the microscope, three, explain the functions of the parts of a microscope, and four, demonstrate how to use a microscope. Let us now go into the detail of this lesson. Well, learners, what is the first thing that you do when food is set before you? Very good. The first thing that you do is you wash your hands. Why do you wash your hands, learners? Okay. You wash your hands because, one, you are removing dirt from your hands. You are also removing germs and the bacteria. Learners, have you ever seen bacteria or germs? Good. I've also never seen germs or bacteria using my eyes. But there's something which we use to see those small objects which we can't see with our eyes. What do we call an instrument that we use to see those small objects? Very good. We use a microscope. Okay? So we can write a microscope. Now, if we were to define a microscope, what is a microscope? Very good. A microscope is an instrument used to magnify or enlarge small objects that we can't see with our naked eye. When we say our naked eye, we are talking about these two eyes without the instrument which will assist us to see small objects. With me here, learners, is a microscope. This microscope, we call it as a compound microscope or simple microscope. Now, if this microscope had a cable here and connected to electricity, we would call it as electron microscope. Now, since this one is not connected to electricity, we will call it as a compound microscope. Now, let us look at the parts of a microscope. The top part here is what we call the eye piece. Okay? The second part here, this part, is what we call the barrier. We call it as the barrier. Then, on the sides here, we have what we call the course adjustment. Course Adjustment, this black thing, the black here, we call it as a coarse adjustment. Then we have a metal, silver here, which we call a fine adjustment. Now let us move to another part. We have this part, which we can use to turn. We call it as a turret. This part which is rotating, we call it as the turret. Now we have these parts. There are three, if we rotate them, like that. These we call them as objective lens. 
we call them as objective lenses. We have this part here, this black, the whole thing here. This part is what we call a stage. Okay? Then I have these, these two parts, we call them as clips. Let us move on. We have a mirror here. This is what we call a mirror. Okay. The last part that we will look at is this part here, where the microscope stands. We call it as a base. Well, learners, now that we have seen the actual microscope, let us now label the microscope on a chart together. From what we saw from the actual microscope, learners, what is this part? Part A. Very good. Part A is what we call the eye piece. Let us write it down. A eye piece. What is Part B, learners. Part B is here. Very good. Part B is barrier. So we we'll write B. Barrier. Let us go to C. What is part C? Very good. Part C is called turret. You are doing fine. Let us go further. What is part D? Objective lens. So we are saying D, objective lens or lenses. Since we have two, there are usually two or three. Let us go to part D. E. What do we call this part? Very good. Part E is called stage. Stage. Let us go further. Look at part F. What do we call part F? Very good. F is called base. Let us continue. Let's look at part G. What is part D? Very good. G is what we call fine adjustment. So we are saying fine adjustment. And what of part H? Very good. This is called course adjustment. Well, let us continue. Learners, we are remaining with two parts, this part and that part. What did we say part I is from the actual microscope? What did we say I is? Very good. I is what we call a mirror. So I is a mirror. Let us now look at the last part here. What do we call this part? Part J. Good. Part J is stem. Now that we've labeled all the parts, let us now look at the function 
of each and every part of a microscope. What is the function of the eyepiece? The one we saw from the microscope, the eyepiece. Eyepiece is used for magnifying. To magnify is to enlarge. To enlarge is to make something look big. So we are saying it is used for magnifying, enlarging the image of the object. A specimen, an object, a specimen is that thing you want to see or to be in light. So we are saying eyepiece is used for magnifying the image of the object which is being observed. Course which we saw and fine adjustment knob is used to move the barrier so that the lenses are put in position where the object is most clearly seen. Let us look at the function of the barrier. The function of the barrier is to hold the eyepiece and objective lenses in position and also to separate them from each other. Let us go further. Let's look at the objective lens or objective lenses. These are used to magnify or enlarge the image of the object which is being observed. If you can look at the eyepiece and the objective lens, they have the same function. This is because the eyepiece is as also a lens. Okay? So let us look at the stage. What is the function of a stage? Stage provide a surface. Stage provide a surface where specimen is put when it is being observed. Let us look at a slide. Slide is where we put the specimen being observed. Now we go to a mirror. Mirror is used to reflect rays coming from the light towards the object that is being observed. Let us go to the last part, which is the turret. Turret holds several objectives, lenses, in position and can be rotated to bring the required magnification. Well, learners, let us now demonstrate how you can observe an object using a microscope. Well, learners, we are now demonstrating how to use a microscope. Okay? We are going to use onion, which is a plant. So we want to see plant cells. Okay, so how do you go about it? You get onion and cut it. This one is already cut. Then you, you remove a leaf or glove. You get one. Like that. Then you get your knife and cut the middle, since we need a small part, we'll cut it like that. Okay? So the only part that we need is the inside. Okay? So after you cut, you have to remove the small membrane inside using your hands. Okay? Okay, learners, as you can see, we've removed. Then you put it on the slide. This is a slide. Let us put it. Don't use your 
hands to touch the membrane. Okay, learners, now we have removed the skin or membrane of an onion which we want to observe and we've put it on a slide. If your membrane is a bit dry, you add some water, then you drain the water. It has to be removed. You remove the bubbles as well. After that, you take your specimen. Specimen is the thing that you are observing under the microscope. So since we've done this, now let us put our specimen on a, on a microscope. You are going to put your specimen on a stage, okay? So we are going to remove the clips, okay, microscope clips, and put our specimen there. We have to move the clips so that they hold the specimen like that. Okay? Now the next thing, we have to put the mirror properly so that light is reflected through the hole on the microscope. So you have to put it properly like that. Okay? After that, we have to now see through the microscope. You keep on adjusting the mirror so that you see properly and clearly. Okay? You have to move the lenses, objective lenses. As we can see, these are called objective lenses because they are near to the object here. So you use the turret to see according to the magnification you want. These objective lenses, they have what they call magnification. How many times it magnifies? Like for, we start with this the lens, objective lens here, it is written four times. So it is saying it magnifies four times. Okay? If this is the powers, okay? You turn the turret, turret and check at the other lens. Okay, you turn and you check. This one is saying times 10. Okay, so this one magnify 10 times. We have a small one here. Let us look at how many times it magnify. This one is saying four times. Okay, now depending if you, are, you have not seen clearly, you should be changing the objective lens. We are going to start with the small one which is four times, okay? Let's turn it. You have to turn until you hear the click sound, okay? And then you start, if you are standing, you can just bend and see through like that. And keep on changing. You adjust using the course adjustment knob. So when you turn it, it goes down like that. If you want the lens to be lifted a bit, you turn it upward like that. Okay, so let us, let us continue. If you have not seen properly, you turn it. Okay. Let us continue see through. You keep on adjusting, you keep on adjusting until you see clearly. There we go.
we've seen how cells, plant cells, look under the microscope. Now, learners, if you want to see the cells clearly, including the nucleus, there is a chemical that we use, which we call the iodine solution. This is iodine solution. Okay? Let us put it on our specimen. Okay? You just have to add a drop. Just a drop like that. Okay? Now, after you do that, you need to get a glass. You drain the iodine. You have to remove so that it does not disturb our experiment. You make sure that you drain it and also the bubbles should be drained. You can use even a cloth or any a tissue. You remove all the iodine solution and then we go and put our specimen on the stage. Okay? Like that. Okay, let's put our clips back so that they hold our specimen. Then you have to see again. Like that. Now, learners, we have seen those both looking thing which we call cells. We have seen before adding iodine solution and after adding iodine solution. Now if you compare the two, what would you say learners? Okay, after you add iodine solution, you are able to see the cells clearly. Even the nucleus can be observed. Okay, so the microscope that we've learned, learners, is not only used on plant cells. Well, learners, we have seen cells from a plant. But it's not only cells from a plant that are being observed. Even Cells from animals, for example, human beings, they are also observed under the microscope. For example, if you are not feeling well, okay, and they suspect it's malaria, you will go to the clinic, they will prick your finger to remove blood from your body, and that blood is put under the microscope so that they see if there is malaria parasite. Well, that's all for today, learners. But before we end our lesson, let us look at the exercise. Question one, what is a microscope? Question two, what is the function of eyepiece? stage and objective lens. Question three, what chemical is added to the specimen like plant cell so that you see clearly? Uh, I give you a few minutes, learners, to answer the questions.
Let us go through together. A microscope is an instrument used to magnify or enlarge small objects. The function of the eyepiece, it is the site or a place where you see through and it also magnify the object. Now we go to stage. A stage is where you put your specimen. The function of the objective lens is to enlarge the specimen or object that you want to observe. And for the last one, the solution that we add to the specimen so that you see clearly is iodine solution. Well, learners, that's all we had for today. From me, Marjorie Chimba, and the studio crew, it's goodbye.